Welcome to Good Abbey, Lord Julius. I would... Would you mind lending a hand? I think he swallowed 20 pounds of ball bearings at the last stop. Blessed mother of us all! A goat! A real goat! Yes, ma'am. Finest example of purebred 100% goat this side of the Coda Mountains. If you don't include my Uncle Seymour. Am I being led to understand that this is your candidate for Prime Minister? My father used to say, son, you can lead an abbess to understand, but you can't make a thing. I'm not interested in your father. Neither was my mother, which makes me something of a mystery, doesn't it? Well, I... You're right. Let's cut out all this smart talk and get right to the dumb talk. The goat is willing to cut his interest payments in half. Why? That's wonderful. What's so wonderful about it? He wants to keep the other half for himself. Half for him, half for me, and you're the little abbess that cries down the lane. I'm afraid I don't understand. Exactly my point. A goat walks in off the street and drains your treasury down to its IOUs. A fine way to run a city-state. You'd better wake up and smell the goats or it's burlap soup for us all. Burlap soup? No thanks, I had lunch on the way over. <laughs> That's great enough. I want you to sit down. You win? How's this? I meant on the chair, not on me. Oh, what's the use? I'm tired of pretending. Tired of the lies, the deceptions. Why? What do you mean? You're mine. All mine. Lord Julius! Your lips, your eyes, your one nostril that's bigger than the other. Lord Julius, stop that this instant. Don't fight it. It's bigger than both of us. In your case, that verges on the incredible. You're insane! <laughs> Mad with passion. I want to nibble your warts. Lord Julius, stop! Your goat is eating my habit. I'll say. Lord Julius! Well, I'll be. My goat really is eating your habit. Leave! Now! Both of you! Don't say a word. I want to remember you this way, the firelight dancing on your mustache hairs. Out! Out! 